As Senator Harkin said, we are honored to have two Congressional Gold Medal recipients here tonight. World War II cadets, Julius Becton Jr. and Barbara Sulzer O'Malley. Sitco sponsored our gold medal celebration in 2014 and would again like to ask Mr. Rafael Gomez to join Senator Harkin and General Vasquez for the presentations. Mr. Gomez, would you please come back to the stage? General Becton and Mrs. O'Malley, would you also please come to the stage? Retired U.S. Army Lieutenant General Julius Becton Jr. became a charter member of Civil Air Patrol's Pennsylvania Wing in 1942 as a teenager. He subsequently joined the U.S. Army Air Forces in July 1944 and served with the 93rd Infantry Division and later in the Korean and Vietnam Wars. Perfect attendance at all three wars. <laughs> After retiring from the military in 1983, he served as director of the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, from 1985 to 1989. Barbara Sulzer O'Malley joined Civil Air Patrol's Indiana Wing in 1943 while in high school in Fort Wayne. She earned her private pilot certificate as a teenager. The mother of former Governor Martin O'Malley, she is a longtime receptionist in the office of U.S. Senator Barbara Mikulski of Maryland, as well as a volunteer at the National Air and Space Museum. We are so pleased to recognize your valuable service as a founding member and World War II veteran of Civil Air Patrol with the awarding of this replica Congressional Gold Medal. <laughs> Dr. Shannon Kula is the Chief of Staff for Senator Barbara Mikulski, and she has a special message for Mrs. O'Malley. At this time, I'd like to invite Dr. Kula to the stage. Good evening. Um, in just a moment, I'm going to bring um, greetings from Senator Mikulski to Mrs. O'Malley for everyone here to um, enjoy along with us. But before I do that, I'd also like to share that I also represent the Barbara Mikulski family who has come to know and love uh, Mrs. O'Malley over the years in the office. And anyone who's ever stopped by our office knows that um, we all basically work for Mrs. O'Malley. So on behalf of the office and the family, um, we'd like to say just how proud we are um, of you for this evening. And now, dear Mrs. O'Malley, congratulations on your recent award, the Congressional Gold Medal, which you received from the Civil Air Patrol for your distinguished service to the CAP during World War II. You have given so much of your time and talent to our state and country over the years and are very deserving of this distinction. I only regret that I was unable to be with you at the celebration this evening to, to highlight your accomplishments. Your service as a CAP was truly heroic and inspirational. In fact, your service inspired me to partner with Senator Susan Collins and introduce Senate Resolution 623, honoring the 75th anniversary of the CAP. This resolution, received the support of 39 other senators who co-sponsored the bill. Their congressional support demonstrates the value they place on your all's volunteer service and further illustrates the significance of recognizing the CAP. It is the self-sacrificing men and women like yours who help make our freedoms possible. You will be glad to know that the Senate passed this resolution by unanimous consent last night. You have given a lifetime to public service to Maryland and to the United States. From keeping my office running for the past 30 years to serving in the CAP to raising a wonderful family in between. You've always been someone who can be counted on. There was never a task too big or too small for you to take on. And you have always stood up to protect what you know is right and fair. Your bravery and service to our great nation make you a true hero. Many people throughout the halls of the Senate know you 
and your no-nonsense work ethic. That is very true. You have been an invaluable asset to my office since my earliest days in the Senate and the guardian of the front desk, greeting all guests with courtesy and good cheer. For more than three decades now, I have known that I could count on you. The Hart Senate office building will not be the same without you next year. Again, it is a privilege to join you today to honor the work you have done. I am so very proud of you. Thank you for sharing your talent and work ethic on behalf of the people of Maryland and of the United States of America. Enjoy this evening and your treasure that you so richly deserve. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kula. And once again, special congratulations to General Becton and Mrs. O'Malley. Thank you for being here tonight.